Да? Томи, нет! Today's video sponsor is GGGMO where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. For today's video we have the review of the new Adrenaline drivers, in this case the 23.3.1 and as I say in all my videos 23 is the year 2023, 3 is the month March and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of March. These drivers bring some really interesting things and, and some really interesting fixes by the way, not lying, it's true, they do bring um, and they are also WHQ assigned once again, so they are kind of certified by Microsoft and I believe they are recommended as well, let me just... Yes, they are WHQL recommended, which is nice. But well, before telling you the performance differences and all the other things, let's start with the usual release notes. The first thing is the highlights with support for Halo Infinite Ray Tracing update, meaning that you can now use Ray Tracing on your AMD GPUs on Halo Infinite, finally, and Wulong Fallen Dynasty also support 4. As for the fixed issues, we have Matrix Overlay may intermittently resize to 50% after gameplay, something that was, um, that was actually noted on the previous drivers and it is now fixed. Application crash may be observed while opening premium gold packs in EA Sports FIFA 23. Now this is interesting because it was supposed to be fixed on the 23.2.1, but it seems that it wasn't actually fixed for all users, so they actually put the, the fixed issue back to the, on the known issues on the 23.2.2, and now it seems to be finally fixed with the 23.3.1. So if you play FIFA 23 and you actually have these issues or you stopped having these issues with this driver, leave a comment in the comment section letting me know uh, if this actually is fixed or not, because it is important. Intermittent driver timeout may be observed in Halo Infinite in certain scenes with ray tracing enabled. Corruption may be observed in Dying Light 2 around certain light sources, very nice fix. Corruption may be observed in Returnal in certain scenes with ray tracing enabled on Raiden RX 6000 series GPUs. I played the game uh, with ray tracing enabled for some time with the 6800 and it was fine. I did not notice that corruption, but some people in the comment section of my previous videos uh, actually said they did notice the, the issue. So if you actually had this issue and if the issue is fixed now, leave a comment in the comment section as well and let us know if it is fixed. And the last one is intermittent driver timeout, system freeze or BSOD, blue screen of death, may be observed using select displays on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. Now, the only issues, the only real issues with stutters, freezes and so on that I had with the RX 7000 series was when using Filmora, okay? Everything was working fine. The only issue that I had was when using Filmora uh, and when using hardware acceleration, okay? And it was not always, uh, it was from time to time the, the system just would freeze, completely freeze. It would start to slow down literally to like 2 or 3 FPS, then um, it would completely freeze and I actually had to reboot and it would work fine for several hours of editing, then it could happen again, okay? Um, but it was actually the only issue that I have. Besides that, no black screens, no blue screens, everything worked fine. But that issue in Filmora was actually very annoying. And I believe that it has to, to do with this as well. So if you were having BSODs, random BSODs, blue screens, um, BSODs, BSODs, random BSODs, uh, black screens, green screens, and so on, these drivers may actually fix your problems. Great but they shouldn't happen in the first place, so let's, let's compromise, it's, it's okay. <coughs> As for the known issues, we still have some, with the first one being high idle power has situationally been observed when using select high resolution and high refresh rate panels on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs, they will fix this, this issue with a new generation of GPUs. 
I hope this is not the case, seriously, because it's it's annoying. For me, it's completely fine because I, I have like 16 watts idle, which is completely fine for a card on that performance tier. But, I mean, some users have been having really, really rough times uh, with like 40, 50, 100 watts on idle in, for example, 4K 120 hertz display. So that's, that's sad. I use 1440p ultra wide 160 hertz and it is perfect. But some users really, really have a rough time. Video stuttering or performance drop may be observed during gameplay plus video playback with some extended display configurations on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs. Some virtual reality games or apps may experience lower than expected performance on Raiden RX 7000 series GPUs and this is once again so we go into VR gaming from what I've saw um, or for what I've seen, sorry, from what I've seen in the comment section or for, from what I saw in the comment section in the previous videos, well, the VR performance is supposed to be much better on the 7000 series than when the first drivers came out, uh, so it is much better now, but it still needs improvements uh, and it is here, so some virtual reality games may experience lower than expected performance, so AMD fix this shit ASAP because people actually using virtual reality headsets will not go to AMD GPUs uh, unless they actually want to save some money because otherwise they will go to Nvidia because they're much, much stable, much more stable uh, on, the, um, on the virtual reality side. But I know it's a small percentage of users, but still it's users that you could actually have in your market share and you don't. Brief display corruption may occur when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6700 XT, an old bug, connection failure or black screen may be observed using Parsec client with AMD decoder settings, also an old bug, application crash may be observed while playing Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6700 XT, so previously we have um, we had flickering, now we actually may have the possibility of application crash. The performance metrics overlay may intermittently resize across the display on some AMD graphics products such as Raiden RX 6600M. As a temporary solution, users encountering this are recommended to disable the performance metrics overlay. So, let me see if I get this straight. So, the performance metrics overlay can actually resize without you telling them to resize. So, they resize themselves, the metrics overlay. The overlay resizes itself and the fix is to not use the overlay. I mean, okay, okay, my car is broken. What's the fix? Don't use your car. So simple. The performance metrics overlay may have some missing units when enabled or situationally become truncated after changing display, display scaling settings. Once again, the performance metrics on these drivers, or at least on the past drivers, are kind of messy. I mean, it's it's kind of dumb, but sincerely, I, I never use the, the AMD performance metrics and I will never, and I will never, okay? Just that, just use MS Afterburner, much, much better. And as for the important notes, finally we have factory reset has been temporarily disabled as a precautionary measure while we address isolated installation issues that have been reported during PC upgrades. And that's all for the release notes, so they basically disabled the clean installation option on the 23.3.1 drivers in order to avoid uh, the installation process to actually break Windows installation, Windows bootloaders and so on. Because like I said in this video, uh, they would to some extent break your, your Windows installation if and AMD said they could reproduce the issue, so it is a thing happening if the Windows was actually updating or upgrading at the same time that you were installing the driver. So things collide and Windows goes to shit. So Windows should never do any kind of upgrades or updates when you're actually installing drivers and so on. But it's Windows, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a big mess in between Windows and drivers, so they need to fix this, and the thing they've done for now is to actually, well, um, remove the factory reset option. 
as for my experience with these drivers, once again, no black screens, no blue screens, everything works fine. A thing that I notice is that with the 23.3.1, the application, the, the AMD Adrenaline, the AMD Adrenaline application, sorry, uh, on the first time you boot the Windows after installing the drivers, it now runs flawlessly. So it just runs as it should uh, with, a, with the 7900 XTX, but once again, but with the 6600 XT, you, you actually have to once again force start the, the AMD application for the first time you install the drivers, okay? After that, it will run uh, as you put Windows flawlessly, but the first time you actually need to force start the application on the 6600 XT. On the 7900 XTX, it works fine. Also, we have a really interesting thing that was added, which is the intake temperature sensor. Now, when going to the performance, uh, for example, to overclock and undervolt your, um, your card, where you actually have the performance settings, the core clock, VRAM clock, and so on, you now have more sensors instead of just having, for example, the core, the junction, and the fan speed, I believe. Now you have also the intake temperature, which is very nice. So it actually has a sensor, at least the 7000 series cards have a, sens a sensor, which will tell you the actual temperature of the air that the GPU is using to cool itself. So it's a very, very interesting thing. It's not something that you actually needed, but it is interesting to have. So if the sensor is there, why not use it? I mean, it's just cool to see the, the temperature of the air that your GPU is sucking in. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's an inst in it's an inst <laughs> it's an interesting addition, definitely. As for the bad things, custom resolution utility still does not work, and as Toasty X said, it is not due to the custom resolution utility application. It is due to AMD that didn't actually add things, um, kind of a profile that they added with uh, with a 6000 series and below that actually allow the applications to change resolutions and so on. And that's why custom resolution utility can't use uh, its profiles on the 7000 series. At least that's what Toasty X, the creator of the custom resolution utility says in its forum. So yeah. And that's basically it. As for the performance, it is more or less the same. Um, more FPS in some games, for example, usually more FPS uh, on Microsoft Flight Simulator with these drivers versus the 23.2.2, but a little bit less FPS on Modern Warfare 2, so it's kind of a trade. You will have more FPS, a bit more FPS in some games, a bit less FPS in others. As for the 6600 XT, it seems to have the same FPS across the board in both drivers. As for the newest cards, it's kind of a trade-off, but overall the performance is more or less the same, as you'll see in the end of the video. And well guys, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and See you in the next one. As always, do not forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know and let us know, the community, your experience with these drivers. If they are working fine, if you are having issues on X or Y uh, software or X or Y game, uh, which card and so on, so on. So we can actually work as a community, help each other and make things work better and faster. That's the point of these videos. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Cessna, 152 four miles southeast of Lima Hotel, 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 1,900 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Budapest approach. Squawk 7 Tree 62. Squawk 7 Tree 62 Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact, four miles southeast of Lima Hotel, 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 1,900 feet. Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2. Roger Cessna X ray Golf Sierra.
flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Budapest approach. Squawk 0354. Squawk 0354 Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra radar contact. Four miles southeast of Lima Hotel Hotel Hotel, 1,900 feet. Altimeter 29.92. Roger Cessna, X-Ray Golf Sierra. 